हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुनील कुमार पीजीटी कॉमर्स केंद्रीय विद्यालय सेक्रेट आर के पुरम लेट मी वेलकम यू टू आर अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज क्लास ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स इन आर लास्ट एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्लानिंग वी हैव लर्न हाउ वी हैव टू प्लान ऑन द पेपर वेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस एवरीथिंग विल बी प्लान इन एडवांस एंड द प्लान विच आर डिजाइन आर प्रोग्राम्स objectives policies procedures strategy and all other plans but let me tell you students these plans are of no use unless the plans are put into execution and it is only the organizing function of management which will put all the plans into execution as in organizing function all the physical financial and human resources are put together in order to achieve organizational objectives let me tell you students this is the most important function of management as planning is only a paperwork but it is only the organizing function which will put all the plans into action so here in this chapter we shall study about the meaning of organizing process of organizing importance of organizing and then it would be followed by functional organizational structure divisional organizational structure formal organization informal organization delegation of authority and decentralization and students let we start a chapter organizing with the meaning of organizing organizing is the second most important function of management in it we put all the activities of the organization into smaller groups and these groups are maintained on the basis of similar type of jobs to be performed in the business organization it's a process in which all the activities are planned well in advance these activities are identified and similar type of activities are put into a particular group and each group is known as jobs and a particular job will be given to an employee who is competent to that job his skills his experience his educational qualifications his professional qualifications all will be matching to that particular job so here in organizing we will understand very very easily that organizing is a process in which physical financial and human resources are pooled together in order to give a perfect combination of these three important aspects of organizing without these no organization can be started even no organization will be able to put into execution so students now let we have the definition given by the father of journal management that is mr fuel so now look at the definition according to mr handy fuel to organize a business is to provide it with everything useful to its functioning its raw material machines and tools capital and personnel so with the help of this definition it is very much clear students that in order to start organizing we need to have raw materials and in order to convert the raw material into work in process and into finished goods we need to have machines and tools which will convert the raw material into work in process and then into the finished goods so that the finished goods can be sold out in the market but in order to get all these things we need to have capital we need to have money so that we can put the money in buying and developing all the infrastructure for the business organization and last but the most important factor of organizing are personnel we need people who will be working in the organization and they will be giving their level best and only then the organization will be able to achieve what it would like to achieve and whatever they have set in their objectives then certainly they will be able to achieve the objectives of the business organization now students after understanding the meaning of organizing and definition of organizing let we move towards the organizing process you may be thinking what is a process students the process these are the sequential steps in which an activity has to be performed and in organizing we have to start with 
identification and division of work. It means all the activities of the organization will be divided into smaller groups and the similar type of activities will be put under a particular group and that group is known as a job and the job is given to the employee. So here in the first step it's very simple to understand that we have to identify all the activities which will be divided into smaller parts each part will be known as job and then each job will be given to a particular employee who is best in doing that particular job. Now let me come to the second step of the process of organizing that is grouping the jobs and departmentation. Once the activities are identified and grouped into similar type of activities then it is very very easy to put them into a particular department. The division of all the work will be put into various types. The most important two types which are available are the functional organizational structure and divisional organizational structure. Students, in functional organizational structure, this structure is designed on the basis of functions to be performed in the organization. It may be the production, finance, marketing, personnel, research and development and other departments of the organization. So here, the similar type of activities we have to put into a particular department. Let me take one example to clear this point to the perfection. For example, the business is going to start motorbikes business. But before starting the motorbikes business, we have to understand that what type of activities we have to perform. In order to manufacture the motorbikes, we need to have money to invest it into the business, to buy the land, building, plant, machinery. So the actions relating to finance will be put under finance department. And then in order to sell the motorbikes in the market, we need to manufacture the motorbikes. And where we'll be manufacturing the motorbikes, that would be coming under production department. And once the motorbikes are produced in the production department, now we have to sell these bikes in the market. And in order to sell the bikes in the market, we need to have the bikes with us. We need to have an effective advertisement for that. The company has to go for aggressive advertisement that may be on television, in newspapers, in magazines. And the company has to tell the people about all the features of the bikes. They have to compare the feature of our motorbike with the motorbikes available in the market. So here it is clear that all the activities which the business organization is going to perform to start a bike manufacturing process they have to categorize these all steps into a single groups and then single groups will be put under a particular department which are production department finance department marketing department personal department and the research and development department students now our next step in the process of organizing is assigning of duties once the activities are identified and grouped into particular departments, now the time has come that each job will be given to a particular person who is best in doing the job and the duties will be assigned to that person. The duties of completing the task, whatever that post is demanding. Then our next and the last step in the process of organizing is establishing reporting relationships. Mere assignment of responsibilities will not help any subordinate or the employee to complete the work. In order to meet the responsibilities, the organization has to have the equal amount of authority because unless they are having equal amount of authority, there is no chance they will be able to meet their responsibilities. So it is the task of the management to ensure that equal amount of authority is given to a person who is supposed to do a particular work. Once the authority is assigned in an organization, automatically organizational hierarchy is established. The relationship between the superior and subordinate is already established. Every person knows who is the one who will be giving him the order or the instructions and to whom he is accountable. So in this way, there will be no confusion into the minds of the people that from whom they are going to get the orders and instructions and to whom they have to report. So once there is no confusion into the minds of the people who are working in the organization, certainly they will be giving their best as there is no chance of overlapping of work or the duplication of work. 
so this organizational process ensures that there is no work left out in the organization and each work is given due importance and a particular person is assigned a particular task in the organization so no task is remained unattended each and every task is there so this is the most important topic which we'll be studying our present topic students that is organizing process so now we have come to an end of the organizing process students in our present topic of organizing we have discussed about the meaning of organizing definition given by the father of journal management mr henry fuel and the process involved in organizing function that starts with identification and division of work grouping the jobs and departmentation assigning of duties establishing reporting relationships so once all these things are done now the organization is ready to start but we need to decide that what type of organizational structure we need to have and students will be discussing about the types of organizational structures in our next episode thank you